So, back. Welcome to Hylian Highlights, where I'll be sharing some of this week's top builds, funny clips, and epic moments, all from Tears of the Kingdom. Look out for the bonus clip at the end of the video. Let's check out this week's top Zonai builds. Starting off this week, we've got Oshkosh Ganache, who never fails to create something good each week, with a submersible land shark. Using bits and bobs that players have recently discovered how to steal from shrines, Oshkosh has made this wonderfully creative land shark. Since these particular parts used don't have collision, it means that they can sink into the ground, therefore this shark bill can swim around as if it's swimming in land water. I think it looks particularly at home in the desert, seeing as there are already sand seals that swim in the sand, and also Molduga swims in the sand. So, it looks quite at home in Gerudo Desert. I don't know about you, but I can't think about sharks without thinking of Sharknadoes, which leads us nicely into this next build, which is also Oshkosh Ganache, where they have expanded on this shark build and built their very own Sharknado. If you haven't seen any of the Sharknado films, watch them with a group of friends. It's way more fun. Long Jumping Frame 1771 came up with this build that takes their username very seriously. Not the frame part or the 1771 part, the obvious part, because this build launches Link really far. Check it out. Angus PJ built this mining exoskeleton armor, as they've dubbed it. There's something I like about this. It does look like a kind of exoskeleton. And while I've personally always liked tanks for grinding Zonite in the depths, it makes sense that a flying machine that does the same thing would be better, because you can get from camp to camp a lot more easily. This seems nice and stable, it's not going at ridiculous speed, so you can quite easily float around the camp and demolish monsters. Nice little build. Our final build for this week is by Suzanne Diaz. They've titled this post Project Clearview. I'm not sure what Project Clearview is, but I really enjoyed this video because it captures some stunning visuals from the world of Hyrule. One of the burdens of this game is what happens with the camera in certain situations. It can limit what you can build, but in this case, Suzanne Diaz has taken advantage of that and made some absolutely awesome first-person perspective videos. The actual build in question here is the vehicle that she's using to do all this flying around. The shrine ball placed at the back right behind Link blocks the camera, making for this awesome first person perspective. I just want to take a second to say, if you want to support my channel, you can do that for free by clicking or tapping subscribe. Or if you're feeling really generous and you want to donate directly, just use the thanks button at the bottom of the video. I don't expect anyone to do that, but if you do, I'll be insanely grateful. Time for some funny clips and epic moments. Diatomaceous Nut, if I said that right, posted this funny clip. D Doodles, another regular contributor, posted this lovely little clip in which he leaves nice little gifts for the Light Dragon. It's not really epic or funny, but I just thought it was nice. But maybe this offering has only offended the Light Dragon because this clip from Captain Ezots, she starts bullying Link. An unfortunate but quite entertaining glitch. Apespine found this weird result when tossing a falling Zonai rubble into a chasm. Boilers and Turlets called this clip, I apparently didn't realise they respawned according to Looney Tunes logic. How unfortunate. Ligush Kia, Ligush Kaya, tell me if I'm saying that right, called this video New Strat Boys, where they try out this new strategy for kicking a monster off the ledge. It might not have worked, but we've got a funny clip from it. Bobby is back yet again this week with a clip where he tries to genuinely help out a poor, helpless wolf. I 
at least you got some free steak from it. Time for this week's bonus clip. And in our final epic clip this week, Bobby has shared his fastest silver Lionel kill so far. Nice stuff. Hope you enjoyed the video. Savok.